Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK. Hiking, backpacking and wild camping are your thing. Please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel is all about. Right, today, testing out the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Watch. Now this is a brand new watch from Garmin. It's £389. This is the top of the range one. It's got the special solar charging, so it will prolong the life of your battery. Um, but fully charged, it comes up with a massive 28 days of charge, which is really, really good. So believe it or not, at £389, this is Garmin's sort of entry level, full multi-sport activity watch. But it's absolutely packed full of features. I myself have got a Fenix 6 Pro, um, it's not a lot of difference between the two. The Garmin Instinct 2 watch is a smartwatch. So if you put your Bluetooth on your phone, you'll get full smartphone connectivity with it. This means you can get all your notifications through to your phone. You can also use things like Garmin Pay as well. Um, but it's got a whole host of features which I'll go through with you today and um, what I'm going to do is go for a run, a cycle and a hike and just show you how I use this watch. Um, I've actually had the watch for I think about six weeks now, I've used it every day, um, it's, just, it's just a really really good watch and also I'll give you a summary at the end of what I really think about this Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Watch. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through with you some of the main features, the main sort of day-to-day -day watch faces. So these are the main faces of this GPS watch. This is the standard face. So this is the sort of main menu. It's got the sunset. It's got my steps for the day. It's got my heart rate, it's got my body battery, so recovery time, how fully charged I am. If you use it to monitor your sleep, it'll give your data on your sleep. If I had my calendar working with me, it'd also tell me what my next events are. And it's also got my smart notifications too. Right, let's go for a run. So here we are, just over 5k, 26 minutes in. My heart rate is 162 at the moment. That will fall quickly. But I'll just show you the data screens too. So this is my current lap. Obviously I'm walking now, so that will come down. But the idea is when you're running, you can see exactly what sort of time you're on for. This is my heart rate. Like I said, it's gonna come down pretty quickly as I've started walking. But it lets you know what fitness zone you're in this is all based on your heart rate and also how many hours the battery is going to last in gps mode right here we go then 10k finished just press the save button okay got a few new records that's only because it's new watch so 10k 52 minutes 26 that includes some walking for video in of course new watch so it gives me all the fastest records usually they'd be a lot higher, a lot lower times than that so here's the summary, 10k, 15 minutes, 26, 5 minutes, 13 seconds per kilometre. That's the training effect, so no anaerobic training today, so I wasn't pushing myself too hard. It's my VO2 max, gives me my recovery days, and then summary again. So this is just saying my Garmin synced with Garmin Connect, and it's also uploaded my run to Strava. Right, so it's a lovely day. They come and I'll just show you what the current data is. So, this is current data screen at the moment heart rate in the top 
right hand corner it's going down because I've just stopped so I've done 29 kilometers in an hour below gives you the speed as you're actually going along next up I've got the lap and the lap time now this is set up so it actually gives you the laps in kilometers so one lap is 5k and what happens when it completes a 5k lap it gives you a beep freezes the screen and you can see exactly how long it took you to do that 5k lap next it will give you your heart rate zones obviously my heart rate's coming down now but i've been averaging about 140. so this is in sort of the the weakest heart rate band and it goes through uh, easy like endurance tempo threshold and then your vo2 map show you the heart rate monitor works properly just summiting a hill just hitting 160 bpm not a bad day to go for a cycle ride lovely well not a great time to be recording there's the steed canyon ultimate cf sl disc okay so just press the stop button okay so it shows me my training effect recovery time and summary of what i've done so it's 39 kilometers in one hour 25 minutes 27.6 kilometer an hour average so what I'll do now, hit done, go to my Garmin Connect app, sync my watch to my Garmin Connect, and then my Garmin Connect will then upload my data onto my Strava account. So today we're wild camping at Kada Idris. It's an absolutely stunning location. I'm also testing out this Garmin Instinct 2 Solar Watch which so far I've got to say I'm really, really impressed. Connected to GPS really fast, easy to upload the maps, and let's see how good this watch really is. So it's taken us a long time to summit Cade Idris. I must admit, I'm really impressed with this Garmin instinct to solar watch i think it's been really really good and i hadn't set up the screens before i was walking but managed to set the screens up on the fly i could just add them it's really really good well impressed with this and the gps didn't let me down so this is what we did today 15 0.34 kilometers so basically 10 miles ignore the average speed because the time's wrong because didn't have auto pause on there we go max heart rate 161 ppm all my stats of how i was pushing the cell take the send 1400 meters which is not bad to be honest that's about four and a half thousand feet so i'm well checked with that good day's work that and this is a map of what we did today you can zoom in or you can zoom out this is the elevation profile so we made it all the way up to the top had a address came back down came back to the car to get some more stuff and that rolling climb back up to where we're camping that was hard so bearing in mind i've had this on all day still says i've got 17 days of battery left that's really really good that is so what do i think of this garmin instinct 2 solar watch well it is a lot of money 389 pound but i've got to say it is absolutely rammed full of features got loads and loads of functionality absolutely tons i hope you got something out of this review please check out my other videos got over 100 out there 
and hope to see you out there soon. Cheers.